After months of teases and carefully controlled demos on stage, augmented reality is finally here. As Microsoft starts shipping HoloLens to developers this week, I got a completely unguided demo of the holographic computer. In a hotel room far above the city of San Francisco, I strapped on the fully functional untethered device to my face. The design of the HoloLens stands out from the second you pull it out of its case. There's a see-through holographic lens on the front. The double-rimmed frame has a matte black finish, and the speakers are nicely concealed in orange bars on either side of the headset. Weighing just over one pound, the headset runs a Windows 10 computer and is packed with sensors, a custom-built holographic processing unit, and lots of cameras, six to be exact. Four of those map the environment so that the holograms can be projected with precision. One camera measures depth, and another captures high-definition videos and photos. The light engines inside the computer project bright, low-latency holograms in the room. From the second I put it on, I could see a whole new world of projections in my immediate environment. But before I could jump into any of the demos, the computer on my face walked me through a quick exercise to calibrate my eyes. The holograms were then customized to my sight. Unlike virtual reality, where your senses are tricked and often overwhelmed, holographic displays are much more subtle. The room is still there, except it's alive with vivid holograms that come loaded with 3D sound. The spatial audio in HoloLens is its most spectacular and significant feature. Here they come. Without the right audio cues, it would be incredibly hard to spot the aliens that burst out of the walls in a game. And I know what you're thinking. Yes, the field of view is small, but the freedom to walk and interact with objects and menus floating right in front of you, while you're still grounded in reality, is a whole other kind of immersive experience. In fact, the peripheral view of the room is entirely necessary for a mixed reality experience. One of my favorite things about the HoloLens is that you get to use your most natural ways of communicating with the world. I stared at holograms and used my hands for two main gestures. I tapped down my index finger to select experiences and created a bloom to exit them. But I also talked to Cortana, my digital assistant who never left my side. She didn't always understand my commands, but she found a way to capture all the high definition mixed reality videos for me. There's something incredibly easy about using your voice to interact with the environment. The ability to do that with holograms made the connection much more plausible. HoloLens is a fully functional computer that's already operating inside a hotel room and in space with NASA. But before it can augment the world of consumers, it needs developers to imagine the holographic possibilities that will enhance our experiences.